You'll never guess what we are playing today. I mean, I'm playing. That's a, that's a red Castlevania. It will not use any of the terrainers. So. Luckily, this emulator can go pretty fast with the loading times compared to the original. It's a more positive take on the usual jingle. Soon, let's try to Here go. start a new game. And no, I'm not turning off the share the filter because it looks nice. Here we go. The game is okay. I've played before. It's better than the Omega version. Just kind of playable. Could say maybe like just like NES version, but a little bit downgraded. It could be better. And Even in Commodore, but what can you do? <clears throat> the monsters look normal. Sprites. Compared to Amiga version where they look like weird freaks. Which is cool in its own way. Uh, when the Panthers go off screen, they are gone for where. Like in this version, when they come back and put the queue from behind. It's easier to open door. So for the Patium, it's not possible. The right for so that can show you. They don't give the same amount of knockback, there is some, but it's not enough to get you the other way. I'm not going to even try to show you how it fails. But so for the mermen, they will knock you down. The flipping animation is a little bit slower than on the next version, so you have to patch out. The monsters are kind of normal speed. Naturally, there's slow open door. Naturally, there's slow down when there's more than one monster on screen. Can you do? First boss is about this as on this Music does not say it's tough. It's fine. As per usual, you have to push down the button to use the secondary weapon. That's because there's only one button in the joystick. So. The up button yumps. You even have a still little map screen. Layouts and such are exactly the same as this version. West Konami had a rule where the levels just have to be the same. No problem. Better should be the boomerang here. Oops. No, forget to put a neat boomerang swift. Perfectly fine, Axe. That's a nice boost. This pretty generous with dropping you down. Save the open door. Spare the usual on Medusa room used bug or ward. I feel like this version has less Medusas. It's 
for the Medusa head jump on the next room. It's also impossible. Knock you down as per is normal. It also automatically locks you both of the VIP upgrades on the verse to unless you break it. It's also different from this verse. Very generous of them. No upwards movement. So. I'm going to try. Be more careful. Please get to the spike room to see how they work on the Commodore 64 version. They use the spike door. Do rest of an instant if they go off screen. Except for that one that is just for the rest. Definitely avoid it. Oops. Open door. Here we got them. Spikes. They look about the same. Bigger of all. Now. Open it. Hold but there. This is the worst one. No. No. Where's the usual ghost? Supposed to have to avoid having three enemies on the screen at once. Oh, there it goes. Also, the back is there. Prepare to have two enemies <clears throat> to minimize the slowdown. But prefer to have more hearts for the Medusa side boss. Can never beat it if I play normal. I have to stun lock it with the mm, feel like that effect is more intense than Oh, yeah, but they have to push down the button. It's not getting stone locked here. Yep. Didn't beat my high score this time. 